What's going on guys, it's Mighty Dark 13 and where's my TV remote? So I don't get done for copyright. Um, this is a, another new video that I'm doing. Um, it's going to be talking about Formula 1, which is another sport that I'm very passionate about. Um, I was going to do a, like two different videos, like a qualifying report and a race report, but the rate that would have meant that, like, obviously I watched qualifying yesterday and didn't sit there and actually watch it all the way through. Uh, but the qualifying yesterday was good for the British because Lewis Hamilton took pole ahead of his teammate Nico Rosberg. This is that sums up the last couple of years with Mercedes is that Hamilton's been in front of um, Rosberg. Then we had a good qualifying session from the Williams, and they're followed by the Ferraris. Ferrari are uh, starting to almost stage like come back. They've been crap for the last few years. Haven't been as good as they were. Williams have like they came back last year very strong, but the one side team who hasn't was McLaren and. The race is on as I'm filming this, but uh, Fernand um, Jensen Button. This is at the moment, currently the right. I'm watching the race live on my laptop. We're on lap ten. Jensen Button was taken out on lap one. Uh, he's my favourite driver, so Jensen got taken out on the first lap at his home Grand Prix. But. Um, no, it's been Hamilton at the moment's got a ten point lead at the top of the drivers' championship. Um, but no, it's, uh, I, I'm very passionate about Formula One. Um, the qualifying report: the top three was Button, uh, sorry, Hamilton, Rosberg, Bottas. Formula One, of course, over the last couple of years has gone through some massive technical changes, whereas 2013 was the V8s that ran on... Per, um, these are hybrid cars now. And it's a case of... But it's a good... It's... So far it's been, we've had a safety car already, which a safety car in Formula 1 terms is basically, it comes out and if there's danger it slows the field down so that the marshals can get the stuff that's causing an obstruction or a danger out of the way. At the moment it's uh, lap 11, Lewis Hamilton made a mistake after coming back in for the safety car. And basically what's happened is he was trying to go around the outside of him or get up and put him off because obviously after a safety car restart you can't overtake the lead car. But but um It's a case of uh, Hamilton made a mistake, and you're not allowed to overtake the lead car. He locked up, had to go across the corner, and he lost the space to Valtteri Bottas in second. So at the moment, it's at this moment of filming, it's Bottas. It goes Massa, Bottas, Hamilton. And Hamilton's teammate Rosberg is eight tenths of a second down behind him. But basically, guys, what I'm going to be doing is, is any time it looks something exciting happens, or referee say ten, fifteen laps, I'm going to pop back in and just like say if anything exciting's happened. You know, if if I mean, I know a lot of my people who watch aren't interested in Formula One, but. You know, I know, obviously, my dad who watches these, he's a big F1, he's the reason I watch F1. Um, but there's some good, like, it's been, I'm, personally, I do like Lewis Hamilton. I like, I'm a big, um, but Jensen Button is my favourite driver. 
Favourite team would be McLaren, but I'm quite. There's a few drivers I quite like on the grid. There's a like it's a good. You know, I mean, I personally, 2013 was the last. A lot of people said that was when F1, the old F1 had died because you were now V6 aspirated engines, I think, or V6 engine. I can't remember what the official term is, but we've got V6 engines now instead of V8s. If I remember rightly, <laughs> but obviously no one's pitted yet. <coughs> but this is being filmed after the race. There's going to be another video that's like a celebration video because I have hit 20 subscribers as of last night, about half past two in the morning. You know, and obviously that was my target because I'm turning 18 in um, eight days. Not that I'm counting. But um, I turn 18 in eight days' time, and that was going to be my target because my target for this year is 25 subscribers. But my target is 25 subscribers, but that's literally, that's for the end of the year. That is as 31st of December at. 20 uh, 11.59 at night, that is my target, it's 25. I mean, there's a good battle going on, or not a battle, but you know, Bottas is putting trouble, putting pressure on his teammate, Massa. But the two Mercedes are right, Mercedes are the all dominant car this year. They've The only race they haven't won was in Malaysia, which was won by Sebastian Vettel for Ferrari, but Mercedes is like the engine to have at the moment because they're doing really well but the Mercedes team the Mercedes team is one of the furthest like the best team out there they're winning a lot of races if they're not winning then they're first or second uh, second or third sorry but apart from like that there was a Incident on the first lap, the two Lotus cars went into each other, and then the two McLarens came together. But it's um, it's a shame because I do really like Jensen, but McLaren have just been shocking this year. They're not as they've gone to Honda, and Honda haven't been good enough. At the moment, as it stands, Bottas is within under half a second of. Massa. And by the look of it, one of the Mercedes is coming in. Um, the same that's quite interesting, Mercedes have just done what's called a dummy pit stop which is where all their guys run out acting like they're going to change tyres and then they haven't done it um, it was meant to try and lure, because Mercedes are behind the two Williams it was trying to draw the Williams into the pits and it didn't work so but what was that, 15? it's 15 laps in and to be honest it's just, it's it's an exciting race but it's a case of, at the moment, you know, it's, at the moment there's obviously there's a good battle going on. But if I was to commentate, if I was to do a video for this whole thing, I'd be here for about an hour and a half. And let's face it, I know you guys watch my videos, but that's taking a piss a bit. Uh, no, it's been a very good. But you know, it's a good. It's nice to see t cars racing. To be honest, you know, Williams have just sort of uh, just letting their drivers go racing, which is good. It's nice to see. I don't like it when they say 
okay, you must let this driver through, or, or like you must let your teammate through, or tell them a whole position. I, I'm not a big fan of that. But at the moment, there's not. There's a leg. I'll probably jump back in when it. You know, I'm not really. Hamilton is slowly making ground on Bottas, but the Williams are really close together at this point. I'll probably jump back in when it's like. When the uh, video, uh, or when uh, an, over, an ex overtake happens at the front, or there's a crash or something, or a safety car, or pit stops. So, I mean, I've been talking for 11 minutes at this point, so. You know, it's not looking, it's look at, it's a good race so far, I've got to say. But, yeah. And, um, yeah, so, it's the first thing, Lewis Hamilton's just come into the pits. He's done. He's switched on to. There's. Each race, there's four compounds of tyre. You've got the option tyre, which is the fastest, the prime tyre, which is the slowest, but lasts a lot longer. You've got the intermediates, which are for light rain, and then. or for a damp track, or damper track. Then you have um, the wets, which are for light when it's really, really. Ru Oh, and it's really raining. Lewis Hamilton's come out of the pits. He's dropped behind the leaders, but that doesn't matter because they haven't stopped you, obviously. But at the moment, Hamilton's the only one out of that top four who's pitted. But, you know, Ooh -wee. and Felipe Massa's just pulled into the pits, and so's Nico Rosberg. It's a big one. This um, this could make or break Williams' race. They've got to have a fantastic stop for Massa. We're watching the Mercedes pit crew here, and this is Order Williams. And Massa's got out in front of him. Massa's got out in front of Rosberg. That could be crucial for the race. Lewis Hamilton's gone through in front, so this could be crucial. Massa's come out in front of Ros, but there was a great battle coming out of the pit lane. But Rosberg is all over the back of Massa now, but... <coughs> Fingers crossed, Lewis wins. But Rosberg's looking up the inside of Massa, trying to get past, but... It's looking good actually, it's been a good race, it was good racing out of pit lane. But the thing with, he might, Hamilton might be on the old, on the slower tyre, but it's fresh, which means he could, he's got a lot of lap times, or he can get a lot of laps out of it. I mean, it's been, it's actually a very good race. Bottas has just come into the pits as well, so. Bottas, that was actually, that was a, not, I wouldn't, it was a good stop. Hamilton's taken the lead. Hamilton's taken the lead. 
uh, Bottas has come out and he's behind his teammate, but they're really they have come out pretty much together. Oh, Bottas! Bottas has gone wide. Rosberg's up the inside of him, but as but Bottas has got out. Bottas has out has got round the Mercedes. That's actually if I seem a bit stunned, that's because Mercedes are the best car out there. But the Williams has out has got past him. But the main thing is my the British lad Lewis Hamilton's leading. So go on, Lewis. You know, it's that this is going to be a great, great battle now. But Hamilton started to pull away, so I'll, I'll leave this bit here and then we'll jump back. I'll come back in, in a few laps time and I'll see a feeling on what's happened. At the end of the thing, I'll also do a full run through of the result. This is I'll give you like a full run through of the grid. And then maybe in another video I'll run through the teams and the drivers. It depends what sort of reception this video gets. But this is a great, great battle between the two Williams. But I'll leave it here for now and I'll jump back when anything happens. So we've had another retirement. Carlos Sainz in the Toro Rosso, which is his Red Bull sister team. And we've had a virtual safety car come out. Now it's just bought in last year after... Oh, this was bought in for this season after after um, there was a horrible horrible crash last year involving Jules Bianchi in the uh, Japanese Grand Prix and it's a case of well they've all the cars have got to go around the track at a certain pace means they haven't got to get the actual safety car out but they've got to stay under a certain lap time and it just makes it safer for the marshals and for the drivers and there's a chance of rain they're saying about five minutes till light rain and looking at the pictures there's it looks it's starting to come over quite dark It's all a bit. The thing is, because you're watching cars, the F1 cars go a lot slower. You're sort of sitting there and just thinking, "Oh my God, what's happening?" Because you're just thinking, "Has someone had an accident, or so, is, is there someone with a car?" But. But it's a case of they've just got. A, there will be a signal when it's over again. Rain starting this the rain's it's starting to spit a little bit with rain. It's good. Um But no the rain's you can see it from the pictures, it's it's a lot darker. But Green lights have started, the virtual safety cars end, didn't it? Can go, and Hamilton's just loot, has just shot off. You can definitely see the rain's coming because everyone's getting their, their, the whole one of us, they've just shown a picture of a stand, and everyone's getting their umbrellas and the coats on, so the rain could definitely be coming in now.
but no, I'll keep you posted, guys. The intermediate tires are getting ready for the cars, or being ready to be get put on the cars. This should be good. That 36 out of 52, and let's just hope that it all goes well. The rain's definitely starting to come down heavier now. Um, you've got to really, you have to sit there and see whether um, <laughs> you have to see where it's wet or not. Um, but there's one part of the track that is quite wet, and Valtteri Bottas has ended up getting caught out by that bit and run slightly wide, and Rosberg's overtaken him. Massa, I mean, Hamilton's been. It is. There's quite a few cars going on at Winter. I mean, you've had Roberto Meri in the Man of Mauritia, you've had Fernando Alonso in McLaren, Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari. But it's looking. It. Uh, the sky is grey over a lot. I mean, back in where I live in Mottingham, it's we've got the sun out, but up at because there's saying five uh, five minutes to the next shower. But it's looking, definitely looks like there's rain. But but it's all looking. The it does look like it's going to rain, but the rain, the shower that was there, has stopped. Nico Rosberg's just gone up in the second. But Massa was a bit. That was. Rosberg got a great run on out of turn one and just came past. And Massa, they both went a little bit deep. But, well, to me anyway. But it's all a bit. Cars are out in the end, so I've probably got to stop again. Dep unless it starts just absolutely pissing it down with rain. Not looking. More rain's going to be. Uh, Mercedes are saying rain in the next minute or so. I've been talking for 24 minutes at this point, but there is a chance that now the cars that are on the inters might end up doing quite well. coming up for like 10 laps to go so this could be a very good ending fingers crossed I'm re I really want Lewis to win 
but it's looking good. But anything happens. Hamilton's pitted. I'm just hoping this doesn't, because we had a similar thing happen in Monaco. We had a similar thing happen in Monaco where Hamilton stopped. Lewis Hamilton stopped for Inters. I've just got all we've got to say, all I can say now. Rain. The rain is starting to come down now. This could be it. Come on, boys. Rosberg's just said he needs to box, so this could be it. Come on, Lewis. Just keep on black stuff, lad. Woo! Come on. This is the thing. This is the British Grand Prix. I don't want Rosberg to win it because I've not been a big fan of him since he's since Mercedes. Rosberg, go on, spin. The rain's really started now, though, so this could be good. Come on, Lewis. 44 laps out of 52. Come on, Lewis. Good job I'm not a presenter, really. I'm getting in trouble for not being for being unbiased. Or for being biased, but... Hamilton's retaking the lead, I think. Come on, Lewis. Yes. Massa's also come in as well, so this is... I'm saying there's blue sky, but Sebastian Vettel's up to third. I've people who know me, I'm not a big fan of Vettel, but since he's gone to Ferrari, he seems to have matured quite a lot. One of the Mana Marussias sort of just got a bit squirrely. Forty five, forty five of fifty two. <laughs> I mean, it's looking good for and he has stopped. But honestly, the thing what in Monaco, Hamilton stopped with about three laps to go and it cost him the race victory at Monaco. Looking good. But it's, it's looking good so far. Hopefully we'll be alright. We're on the uh, final lap here. 
It's looking good, Hamilton's. Oh dear. Uh, it's been good, I mean. So right, it, well, they're just at the moment they're just going through. It's looking good though. It's coming around. It's literally it's the final few corners now. He has done it. Lewis Hamilton wins. Nico Nico Rosberg finishes second. Sebastian Vettel finishes third for Ferrari. Good. It was actually a very good rating, you know. I mean, I people do say to me, "How can you sit there for like an hour and a half and watch?" You know, how can you watch it? But I love Formula One. It's a good. It, I thought I enjoy it. Anyone's wondering, throws an orange squash because I'm doing 100% Formula One race at the same time. Sadly not a British, I'm in Austria at the moment. Track wise, but still. Fernando Alonso gets the final points for 10th. So quite nice list, that one's thanked all the fans. Um, sorry for going quiet for a bit though, I was listening to radio messages, but the classification is Lewis Hamilton wins, Rosberg second, Vettel third, Felipe Massa fourth, Valtteri Bottas fifth, Kvyat sixth, Hen uh, Hulkenberg seventh, Raikkonen eighth, Perez ninth, Fernando Alonso tenth, that's his first points for McLaren this year. Uh, Lewis Hamilton got the first fastest lap on lap 29. I'm just hoping that update the thing for soon because I'm obviously watching this live. And then it goes Marcus Ericsson 11th, Roberto Mary and Amanda Mauritia in 12th, and then Will Stevens, who's another British driver, in 13th. Then there was quite a few unclassified cars. Yeah, hang on a minute, I'll just jump back a bit, see if I can. Just so I can try and get like everyone who was at. Um, there was Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen, us, um, Jensen Button was out, 
that's Felipe Nazar didn't even make the grid. But He's doing well. It's good. It was a very, very solid race. Yeah. But no, it was a very solid race. But no, guys, that's this is my first real thing. Um, let me know whether you want me to do two separate videos for the qualifying, the qualifying, and then the race, or you want me to do it in this format. This, I admit, I know this is a very, very long format or way of doing things. But no, it's been a very good race. But no, it's been a good race today, guys. You know, I'm going to leave this video here. Obviously, I can't show you any footage because I don't have the... Uh, the I'd love to show you, be able to show you guys podium celebration or something, but I can't at the moment. But thank you for watching. You know, obviously in the comments below, let me know whether you like this format of things. Or you want me to do two separate videos. Maybe even three if you want me to cover practice as well. So, yeah guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate if you have watched to the end of this, then leave a comment saying hashtag... Hashtag... Uh, I don't know. Hashtag Lucas A Bowl. I don't know. <laughs> Just to show that you have watched to the end. And that's it. There will be another video out later. This has been filmed on the Sunday. And there will be another video out later today. About. Uh, that's going to be a special celebration video for 20 subscribers. For me, I know that ain't many, but I don't care. I've hit 20, I'm happy. But thanks, guys. You know, thank you for watching this. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Give us some feedback in the comments below, and uh, I'm going to sign off now. Please like, subscribe, and share. See ya.